a lot of time itself we really quite often get to see a lot of videos out there regarding the personality development how to really get skilled in something that we really like so that we can get better job opportunities and we can really earn a lot of things as well and a lot of thing as well is really fine which majority of us are really looking out for that but for some people essentially like you know the programming essentially is something that they really are learning just because they want to build out something as well so in this today's video we are really going to talk about everything that you really know need to know about becoming a tech entrepreneur so, well if not fully sort of so a lot of things that really personally that i have really experienced is uh, you really get a lot of content regarding become how to get a better job how to get a better salary how to get a better this and that becoming especially in the programming regime there is a lot of courses out there there is a lot of tutorials out there especially like the traversy media the web dev simplified devid academind hitesh choudhury free code camp <clears throat> etc all that thing but majority of the thing that i really experienced is like what about those people who really want to build out the next uh, billion dollar app itself whether they have a next like crazy idea like uber itself whether they have whether they want to build out something of their own itself uh, to really build out the next e-commerce store any any website or any online services that could really caters thousands of people or millions of people probably that, like that else so what are the things especially we will need to do uh, if you are really those kind of thing you really want to pursue the entrepreneurial ship uh, route as well so we are really going to discuss about it as well so before we really discuss about uh, what are the things really necessary regarding i really want to just kind of emphasize what a job aspiring pers personally does in order to get a job now this video is just really focused on to the programming or it field in general as well so this video can really be applied in other field as well uh, by said that number one if you really, if you really want to apply a job number one i really assume that you might be a college student you might a fresher you want to be you want to get a good paying you want to get a high paying salary you want to get a good job you want to get a you want to get a job at a reputable company like fang or any other top fortune 500 companies as well so what you will do so like any other you will really search about how can you be a better developer because that's what the company really demands and the most important thing is like so if you really figure out what are the things that you really need to learn these are the courses these are the videos there are a bunch of other tutorials as well becoming a better developer becoming a higher things and you just kind of really go and learn this all the things like this is the front end this is the back end this is the cloud infrastructure that i really learned all these things and really hey i build out some couple of other projects as well i build out something as well now i'm really fully ready as well to really rock out to the interview uh, you really crack on the interview and you really impress the company as well that hey you really just kind of given the impression that i am really best candidate for you i am really most suitable and can really bring you the, bring out the value to your company and and the company says hey we are really absolutely fine with your work uh, and it's and your work is really quite impressive as well so we would like really like to hire you and that's how uh, you can get hired much more easily as compared to the entrepreneurship well in the entrepreneurship or the tech business what i'm really think about and what i'm really going to assume is like first of all you are a college student and you may or may not have a partner with you uh, and you may or may not have the technical skill to build out the app and to really just kind of market it in to commercially market it and to really make it sort of viral as well so and being said that when you really want to now learn just to make your own business now the challenge is really rises to the exponential level as well now because it's like it's not about you just want to learn make the bunch of other projects and just kind of go and done it because yeah because it's not about really like you know specializing in one thing where you can get a job of 
uh, one thing as well so in really company in other company where you go for the job candidate as well though they have they would have a separate like a front-end developer they would be have a say they will separate a back-end developer and if anyone says that hey I'm just learning the front-end because I really like it and I'm just gonna get it and they said yeah we're really welcome just and you can get a job in that way but you if you really want to build a really product itself you have to learn everything now what does that everything mean number one so if you really just like anyone else in the programming field you really start up with the anything you really choose like do you want to go with the android or ios so you want to go with the web as well web in general which is which will never get obsolete neither the app as well so you really first of all really learn how to really make a website how to build an app how to really just kind of go through it and learn the uh, ins and outs of it and really just kind of go through it and really just kind of really understand the nuances of the programming language of how it works why it was really made understanding the history regarding it which is much more essential and crucial thing and and as well really understanding the backend structure which is a common and really synonymous to what you really can go to the job application set. so you might really ask hey this is also really similar to the job this is I'm really also doing as well so what's the common and what's your point of really like you have to really learn a lot of things things really start to really get uh, quite tricky as well when you work on your project number one a lot of thing when a, a project a lot of project that I have really seen on the internet of the instructor they really use the probably bootstrap they really use probably like CSS oh yeah which is really common bootstrap theme material theme and really use the library which really reduces their time and they are really just heavily focused on to really create a projects they are not really focused in creating the building the user app there the instructors main goal is to really teach you and you can't really go in that way as well suppose if you really, really want to learn the front-end designing as well if you really want to make the website and now guess what if you really want to really uh, make your own website to really just kind of making the making your home page really appealing what should be your design what should be the psychology as well what should be the tendency what should be the nuance it goes on hell lot of things as well and I can really list down the multiple of the things suppose let's start with the front end as well number one let's say if you have an idea of really creating a next uber itself let's give it an example base how will you design it how will you really approach now you know and you might say hey I'm just using now uh, that the VS code or the terminal itself and to really just get started itself well that's a really stupid move first of all you first of all have to really learn a basic psychology of the basic human tendencies the color psychology the color remixes the color nuances even though you might be say that you are not good at colors even I'm not good at colors as well because uh, and if you have a logical brain uh, you can really approach the thing very mathematically as well something and that really helps to a much more general extent so being said that you really need to learn first like what are the things what are the fundamental design what are the list of things that I really require what are the things that I really I will be displaying out there to the people so now I have the things how can I really just kind of like do list of things to into the design as well so there are various processes as well there are various design structures there are various design patterns design structure with that design philosophy design history <sighs> there's a lot of things but one thing essentially is like you really need to know is like how to design what are you designing and why are you designing in such a way because it's it's really crucial as well because it's essentially like you know what are you subconsciously communicating as well number one and the more beautiful the website is the more really it creates an awesome impression one of the best website that I really admire is like of Apple or Apple.com obviously just like you know they really sell an expensive gadgets out there so they have to they have to really make their website so good in order to really look and enhance the premium experience out there so what can you really do to really make such a good experiences 
now i don't really mean that you really just kind of go and do the crazy animations or something like that itself because that's just a fundamental thing as well and how can you really learn the design aspect or the psychology as well so there are really two more channels which i really like there is the future channel of chris do and the second one is of awards and the, like the third i think third one was like i'm really not really like which one was that i'm not really remember i'll really put down into the link uh, the the channel's name right here and yeah so these were the first thing as well if you really and now what do you really do you have the design you really know what the design fundamental principle is then you go to the adobe xd you really prototype there and then you really make it a mock up then you really finalize it into there, there are the multiple iterations out there and then you really need to code it with a like pure vanilla frameworks pure or really like front end frameworks itself like the the react view or angular itself and really just kind of code it out there and what about the back end well it's also really tricky as well number one if you really want to deploy your app uh the majority of the thing is like when i really see is like you know people are really just kind of like open the text editor and they start to code that's not how the major corporations work they really just kind of finalize they really kind of draw the patterns you know and really think of it in the scale of in a per millions as well number one you are not designing any toy app just remember always that you are always will be designing something which can go viral any time which should have the capacity to really less to handle any loads any under any circumstances it should really also perform in it should really handle any outburst of your server as well. so to if you really need to choose a language for the back end as well that would really suit your needs now when you really come to the business logic as well uh the pro the point really comes the point of really like having the argument like node big node versus django is completely meaningless and and i haven't really seen any of the tech people or the tech entrepreneur as well to really just kind of having the discussing that debate as well uh and i know it's really fine to as a beginner itself to have that debate like which one is better for me which will handle my loads or which will handle my capacity much more better as well but since i really assume that you have learned a complete of probable programming language or you will be learning the probable language as well so you really need to pick up the language which will really suit up your best needs now you will really not say that hey which is the best like sledge hammer versus a wooden saw we don't do that comparison right every tool has its own benefit as well so you really need to look up the business logic so any and business convenience and the way there are various factors involved in it like it's not just like in you can't have that job type of mentality where you really just go out learn these things and apply for the job and you get the job no you really have to learn a lot of things as well and you really need to make the wiser decision as per the technical side of you do you really need to learn the programming the answer is it depends uh if you are if you are really the business person and your partner is really having some sort of a technical knowledge or he's really a willingly to cooperate with you or you have both some sort of similar goals and then you can really just kind of do it as well but in really like but if you're really alone just like me as well and if you don't have any friends and you don't have any logic as well sorry if you don't have any friends if you don't have any other professional working with you then you really need to learn it every damn shit on your own you really need to just kind of go out and pretty much learn it on their own and it's not really like it will really just you will learn it in just like 3 or 4 months it will take you much more longer than that expect it really around 1 to 1 1 to 2 years as well now why this like we are just going to really discuss about it so i was really around like to choosing the best language for your entire backend as well now it's not really like you know if you really have an idea you draw the sketch you really just kind of come out with it and you really code it along it's it never happens number one now what really trend, the thing that i really seen is like 
the trend of using the cloud infrastructure as well. So if you're really aspiring to become an entrepreneur or really start your own startup as well, then I really highly suggest that you really spend a considerable amount of time in learning the cloud provider services. And which one should you choose among the three giants like AWS, Azure and GCP? Well, they all three are really good, but in terms of the market share, the AWS is still the king and they have the latest cutting edge technology. The prices are much more cheaper than all these three. They have the better services. And if you really uh, go on and if you really ask about me as well, I have really little slightly soft warrant for the AWS because they are genuinely really good. But one of the slightly disadvantage that I really see about AWS is like uh, they uh, they don't have the better documentation. They have a really slightly a vague learning resources, and you really need to uh, dug out a bunch of other resources. You really need to tag the bunch of various people out there on the internet. Uh, by the way, this is just this is not topic of this video. I have really mentioned something of a video like AWSL. You can check up right here in this corner. You will get a much more detail about it. So being said that AWS is the most crucial thing that you really need to learn about for the programming as well. And now if you really just kind of really have the knowledge of front end, back end, the cloud infrastructure and the various as well. Now what will you do is really like come up with a system designing, come up with a planning that hey this is my front end, this is my UI, this is what I really want to design, this is just the complex thing, this is the scenario. Uh, that my the code is going to handle and think like it's a really complex messy thing come up with a system diagram now what does system diagram is it really essentially mean system diagram is nothing just like but a really a diagrammatical representation of how your app is going to really work how your app is going to really function as well number one thing and the second major aspect really crucial thing about the database as well which no one really talks about is like the database management probably in the SQL or no SQL depending upon your choices your application and what are you using as well you really need to take care about what are you going to really choosing as well the database management is a really crucial thing because if you really design your database into the wrong thing in a really wrong manner things can go really rip off easily in no time as well so uh, you really need to learn a part and measure to the like full stack web development courses and what I really see is just that they really teach like how to do a CRUD application, uh, how to perform a CRUD operation, create, read, update, delete and basic like a uh, high fire scenario function like that just kind of perform uh, filter, aggregation and that's it. It's like no one really talks about like how to design an application that could really handle millions of traffics of the people out there. It's just a complex thing and so you really need to learn that thing as well and by said that it's like you know when you introduce the concept of making a business from your app you really need to know about the marketing the bunch of other cool thing business logic consumerism psychology marketing business psychology how the people really works what are the various things uh, there are really I could really list a thousands of things as well like you know uh, the best entrepreneurship channel that I can really suggest to you right now is just the Valuetainment, the Y Combinator and the probably I think uh, yeah I think which I really learned a lot of things from it as well then he the guy is really cool he's really authentic as well in general and finally the networking factor is also really much more crucial as well because in a tree tech business as well you will really not find those industry standard or industrial things or the phenomenon which really happens in the IT field there are really a bunch of other things which the instructor doesn't teach you and that you can really learn from those like by networking itself how to do network Attend the free local meetups itself, go to the paid meetups, paid events, what you would like itself. So in my case, like uh, I live in Pune, which really happens to be a really good place if you want to open your startup, if you really want to open your IT sector, it's probably second or the third position in, in India itself. And yeah, it's a really pretty much good places. Every 
uh, week or second weekend uh, there is there are really lot of uh, free meetups available itself i personally go there i personally like interact with each other it really and really kind of get a significant value out there and it really helps a lot of bunch of thing as well and so you can really learn a valuable set of what's trending what's not what are the industry standard what are the best practices to follow what are the various things to do it and not and various apart so these were the really things you really need to learn apart so let's take let's calculate the time journey or let let's calculate like how much time it takes to really learn all these things if you really want if you are really just a job aspirant it will not take you like 6 to 1 6 months to 1 year but if you really like or if you want to learn everything around you considering that you are alone or you if you have a partner then it can really get a significantly less if you are really sharing the workload or uh, depending upon what you are and if you if you really have a lot of money if you have millions of dollar then this then this video is really kind of a really useless for you because you can just go on and hire consultants uh you can really hire really qualified developers and start working on it like you know so for the front end as well you really learn to for like html css javascript or for the like in taking the front end uh, android or ios app you really learn the swift or the kotlin as well for the newer versions of android but prior to the coding as well so you really need to learn about the adobe or the illustrator software sort like photoshop illustrator or xd as well in they are the three most famous there are others of there are others as well like which are like a uh, sketch corel draw uh and and like an affinity photo as well but the, the adobe is much more really common and you can really get it for free as well if you want and if you have to pay it you can pay it as well so it can really take you to learn around i think depending upon what you really want how much do you really want and it's really kind of a vague thing to ask but it can really take around 2 to 3 weeks or probably 1 to 1.5 uh, month as well depending upon what you are the second thing is like you need to really understand the ux and ui design like how what what's the trend what's the psychology what are the people really doing so as i really mentioned about the futures channel as well so you can go out and check that channel they have really illustrated what are the fundamental psychology what the people really see how are the people really going to go and what are the things as well number one thing and that can really take you another probably two weeks to one month as well and the coding in general like take the full stack coding to the under 6 to 6 months to one year and then like as i said the cloud is not all cloud is not a easy thing but it's really worth it to learn it number one and you will really save a lot of dollars a lot of money regarding it as well and the thing is really like it will the cloud will really take you another 3 or 4 months to learn so in like as i really said that it will really take you around just one or two year if you are a college student it's the best time to get started as well and you can really learn a lot you will really if you really submerged into it then this is just a kind of a brief introduction to how you can really approach your programming into the business as well and mind it i really say business is not for everyone business is really the hard thing you can really easily earn a lot of money by not doing business there are much more easier ways to learn uh, to earn a lot of money and you don't necessarily need to do it but still if you have a grit if you really think that i have an idea which i can't implement or i can't uh make it happen by working it somewhere else then you might choose the entrepreneurship path as well and that's a really good thing because we really need more people or we really need much more people out there in the market that could really make the difference out there so as i said in the first thing in the assumption like if you are really starting out if you are really college student if you are working solo or working in a partner as well if you really start early it will really give you a tremendous head start as well and the thing is really like apart from the programming you really need to learn the solid business fundamentals so because 
wear it because when you really apply to the business every decision that you take will really count as a failure or success to you and that's what you really need to care about so being said that this was it i just want to really share about how, what are the things that you really need to learn it as a tech entrepreneur as well if what are the things that you really uh, if you want to build your own startup using the programming technology if you want to build an app is it really necessary is it not uh, what are the things what are the channels what are the psychology what are the various things as well we will just in general give you a brief structure and if you really want to really just kind of maximize the and if you really want to utilize this video into maximum the possible way just pick out each single word which which was really highlighted which you which you feel highlighted and search and google it because google is the ultimate destiny to a great source of knowledge so being said that stay connected stay subscribed to my channel and have a nice day